Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video about reactivity I want to tell you about watch methods. So what I have in front of me is a, a small app that has a, an input field and a static, um, a static widget. So if I run this, you can see here that there's a, an input at the top that asks me to enter a color and then there's a static over here that has a border but that's transparent for now. And what I want to do is I want to be able to type a color, for example, green, press enter, and I want this color here, the background of the static region, to change to the color I just typed. So how do I do this? Well, there's a reactive that I defined, so I have my application here. It has a color attribute that's set to be a reactive. And I have a method here that handles input submissions that tries to parse the color. And if it succeeds, it sets the color to the color that was typed. And now what I want to do is I want to make use of a watch method to update the color of my static. So reactives, when they are changed, you can, you as in the developer or the developer or the, the code that's using the reactive, the code can get a notification so to say, um, can get the notification of the change. And you do that by defining a method with a specific name, and that is watch underscore, and then the name of the reactive. So if you do watch color, what's going to happen is whenever the value of the reactive color changes, this method gets called. And so in here we can do something like self dot query one static dot styles dot background equals self dot color. So this works perfectly. If I run this, if I type red, press enter. If I type blue, press enter. Green, press enter. So the colors are changing. This even works with, I don't know, colors specified in other formats. So now I'm going to stop my application. Now, in some cases, it's convenient to have the watch method accept directly the new value. So notice that this method has no parameters here. Well, I mean, it has the self, but sure. Now we can add one to be the color that was just parsed. And so I don't need to access it through self. I could just receive it directly. And so this still works the same. Or Sometimes you also want to receive not only the new value, but the value that was set previously. And so you can have the old color and the new color. And to show this, what I'll do is I'll change the, I'll change my application to have two statics. And the left one will have the old color and the new one will have the new color. And so this is the new static. Oops. And the old one takes the old color. Right, this should be correct. So now if I run my application, if I type red and press enter, the right one is red because this is the new color. Now if I type something like yellow or orange, when I press enter, red will be the old color, so it's going to move to the left, and orange will be the new color, so it goes to the right. And now we can keep going. I can keep changing the colors. And so what this video shows is that this watch method here, this is very powerful. And you can use this whenever you have a reactive and you want to react to the changes on that attribute. So if you have any questions about this, I'm just scratching the surface, right? But if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask them in the comments or better yet, join our Discord server. I hope this was helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.